Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here. So today let's talk about customers. So I can't tell you how many times I hear people say, well, I only know so many people or I don't know anybody or I just moved, I don't know anybody. Um, I have a few select friends and family, but that's it, but I don't see them buying from me. So if you're part of a company where you sell something, Always think of the customers that you don't know yet. And you might be thinking, what does that even mean? Like, what are you talking about? Um, don't think about your friends and family when you're thinking of who you're going to sell to, because believe it or not, your friends and family will likely buy from you the first week you're in the business, but then they're the last people to buy from you, as silly as that sounds. Like, I have been a part of a company for months now, and... I get people from high school who I haven't talked to in several years message me and say, hey, I saw your post on uh, Facebook about that eyeshadow. It looked awesome. Do you have any? You know, um, I've never, you know, I haven't spoken to them in years, yet they're the ones sending me a message wanting to spend the money. And then... I'll talk to them about the business and then they'll say, oh, so you have lipstick, you have concealer, you have uh, tanning products too? I would love that, you know? So then they're the ones that spend the most money. But what I really would like to talk to you guys about are the customers that you don't know yet that you will have that will keep on buying from you. So a perfect example is um, networking. You have to network. And when I say networking, I'm not saying to go to a course or to spend money taking um, a makeup course or to spend money to go to seminars or, you know, whatever. I'm not saying those are bad things, but if you're a shy person, that's probably the last thing you want to do, right? That's probably the last thing you want to do is to go to a course, have to say your name, you know, 50, 60 times and to have to talk about yourself where I know a lot of shy people or I know a lot of anxious people that being in that type of a situation it makes them nervous. You will get used to it though over time. You will become more confident the more people you meet. But if you're new to this, you're probably thinking that just makes me nervous. I don't even want to think about it, right? So the easiest thing to do when I say networking is if your friend, let's say, sells um, 31 and she's hosting a party, go to that party. You probably would anyway, but go to that party because all of those people who attend that party, you'll all start talking about, you know, what you do, the city you, you live in, your kids, your, you know, you will all start talking. So then that's your perfect opportunity to sell without sounding like you're selling. So say, you know, what I do is Hey, yeah, you know, I've actually um, been a part of this company for like three months now. I love it. Um, see, I'm wearing some of the makeup now. Um, you know, like I'll just sort of make conversation, but I don't sell in an obvious way. Like, yeah, I'm a part of this makeup company. See what I have here, you know, isn't this like awesome, you know, and then I'll pull out things from my purse. No, but I'll just simply talk to them. You would be amazed how even people knowing what you sell, they'll go, oh, she sells that? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, even if they don't know they're in the market for makeup, once they know you sell makeup and you two or, you know, three or four start talking, they like you. They go, oh, you know, like you're really neat. Um, person, how about you give me your number? We'll, you know, go out for coffee, you know, like that's how I meet a lot of people. Um, a perfect example, I went to um, an essential oils uh, party. Um, actually, I've been to about three this month, as uh, funny as that sounds, and I have met at least four new people each and every time. And they're all awesome because you're um, friends tend to like, you know, the same types of people. Obviously, that's why you two like each other. So they all like the same types of people. So the more people you meet, you will obviously like them too. And then you'll go, oh, well, she's a pretty neat person. Like, I would love to meet for coffee or, you know, the next time I'm going shopping, I'll bring her with me. You know, like, I'm just thinking hypothetically here. But 
the more people you meet, the more people you can tell that you sell whatever it is you sell, and then they will become your customer. And customers always become repeat customers because once they buy from you, they'll think, oh, well, I need some more eyeshadow, but you know, like I bought from Andrea the last time, I prefer to buy from her because it was awesome. And I prefer to buy from her opposed to going to Walmart or to Target or whatever, right? So that's how you meet new people. And so many people say to me, you know, who are a part of my team, they say, well, I don't know how to meet people. Like, I don't know how to just say, hey, I sell this, or, you know, I don't like to talk to new people necess um, necessarily. Like, I'm not the type of person to go up to a stranger and say, hey, I'm not either, but how I meet people is through other people. You know, like me attending an essentials oils party isn't to meet people, it's to be a part of the party and learn about essential oils. But as you're all there, you're all just talking naturally, you know, Think about it, you all talk naturally. You all say at some point, oh yeah, well I sell this, or I work here, or you know, this and that, right? You all like each other, you take down e each other's, you know, like numbers, emails, um, Facebook accounts, whatever. And then if you're posting on your Facebook account, they will see that. So even if you didn't mention at the party, you sold um, makeup or whatever it is you sell. If you're posting it on Facebook, like say I posted a eyeshadow tutorial, how to do a smoky eye, and then the next day I posted about the difference between liquid lipsticks and creams or whatever, right? They will see that and then they will be thinking, oh, she sells makeup or she likes makeup or she has something to do with makeup, right? And then your next post could be about, hey guys, I'm placing a large order on Thursday. Um, if anybody wants some all natural lipsticks, let me know. They will see that and go, oh, well, I would love some, you know, so I will order through her. So like I could keep talking about this for like hours, right? But does everybody get the idea? So. Don't think currently about the people you know, because if you do that, you'll be thinking, okay, well, I can maybe sell to 20 people, but once those 20 people stop buying from me, that's it, right? Or you could be thinking, well, the 20 people that I know don't wear makeup or whatever. Think about the new people you will meet. So try to get out of your house, network, and by networking, I mean if your friend's hosting an essentials oils party, if she's hosting a party um, because she sells 31, if she's hosting a party because she sells teas, you know, get out of the house, even if you don't want to, and go to those parties because you will meet new people. Those new people will become customers. And that's part of why I actually love this um, so much because I actually meet people who I wouldn't have met because I'm not the type of person, believe it or not, who just simply goes up to somebody and says, hey, I sell makeup or hey, your shirt looks super nice. You know, I sell makeup. That's not me at all. Um, before I know somebody, I'm very shy. So I'm not the type to just go, hey, that's not me. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are like that. But, but if I'm with a bunch of people, like we'll just talk anyway. And then that's how I meet new people. And then they go, oh, you sell makeup? Well, that's neat. And then they become customers. They tell people that they know. And then they tell people that they know. And that's how everything works. So st stop thinking inside the box. Think outside the box, if that makes sense. Okay, so I, I hope this helped. Um, happy Friday. Enjoy the weather, uh, the weather, and I will see you guys later. Bye.